Greetings everyone, welcome back to yet another Genshin Impact video. And so, today we are going to be doing a, a court case, I guess. Yes, we are going to be defending Linny at the Court of Fontaine. So let's head up over there into the Opera House. And we can experience what the fuck is gonna happen, you know? Um, but yeah, let's head up in there, enter the Opera House. And let's see. Ooh. Participate in the trial we get to see farina some more fuck yeah and then we get to see nuvalet as um I, I don't know what nuvalet's uh job is again he's a uh, i don't know let's do this okay you still have that on let's take things step by step things don't just happen we'll get to the truth one way or another yes just relax navia else suspects lenny and lynette at least we will be supporting them from the stands. Yes. Besides, I doubt Farina understands any more about what happened than we do. Well, we'll be going then. Yes. Best of luck to you. Yes. Let's do this. Ooh. There we are. And there's oh, Linny and Lynette. Back. Well, how did your investigation go? To be honest, you might be disappointed. No, no. We're already very grateful that you were willing to help. Now, don't you all look disappointed? Don't Yo, Farina. Investigation came up empty-handed. Shut up, Farina. Was to be expected, of course. The guilty can never produce proof of their innocence. But shut up. Yeah, but you can also never produce. There's like zero proof on and that. that Linny did it. You. I shall be terribly disappointed should you, my most anticipated foe, concede so easily. Just you wait. <gasps> Nivellet. I declare that the trial regarding the magic show incident is now in session. Yes. Firstly, in order for the audience to understand the causes and results of the incident, could we please have Mr. Linney explain the trick? Yes, of course. I will explain while Lynette demonstrates on stage. All the necessary items have been prepared. Okay. Linney uh, clearly reveals the details of the magic trick. Thank you, Mr. Linney. In that case, I take your statement to be that you ran to and remained hidden within the magic box in the audience stands once the trick began, and thus could not have committed the crime. Is this correct? Yes, that's correct, Your Honor. In that case, I call upon the prosecution. Lady Farina, do you wish to refute his statement in any way? <laughs> of course I do. Allow me to take the first shot and break this case wide open. Mr. Linny is clearly lying. There is How? no way you could have been in the box the whole time if you were to abduct Halsey and murder Cowell. In fact, I'd say you were hardly in that tunnel at all. That is simply your hypothesis based on the presumption that I'm guilty. Oh, is that so? <laughs> and if I may ask, what did you hear while you were inside your box? Pouring countdown uh, of the crowd, okay. of course. Hey. That's how I kept track of the time and built anticipation for the finale. And you didn't hear anything else at all? Nothing that might leave an impression of any kind? No, I don't, nothing. Uh, okay. But when the count reached 30 seconds or so, there was a thud. One so loud that I believe practically everyone heard it. What, what, what do you mean, huh? How could Linny not know about that sound? Yeah, I'm sure he could have heard a noise that loud from inside the box. I was right by the box and I definitely heard the thud. What thud? I frankly, I didn't even hear it either, dude. So <laughs> they probably represent the um, oratory uh, stance on the trial. <laughs> well then, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to use the words of the magician himself. Never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. Indeed, it seems his alibi can also collapse in the blink of an eye. Of course, Bruh. I have armed myself to do far more than smash your alibi. Confidence cannot go unfounded, and my foundations are rock solid. Are How are they the rock night? solid? <laughs> Fuck. The uh, they're Fatui. No wonder they did something like this. So Bro, shut up. Appearances were the Fatui's doing. Now it all makes sense. I've got a feeling that what happened on stage probably wasn't just an accident. I feel like freaking uh, Tartaglia is gonna 
come in to here or something like that. That's what I feel like. Our identities have nothing to do with what happened. Indeed. Then perhaps you could tell us everything that happened during that one minute. Your first priority is to prove yourself innocent after all. I'm sure there is little that needs to be kept secret now, as your script already has holes in it. Huh. Okay, let's see. How are we? Speechless. How... Oh my, don't what the they fuck? look flabbergasted. <laughs> now fuck? comes the infighting in what was that? Discord. Discord. <laughs> this was almost too easy. Good thing I made all those preparations. Seems the all-nighter I pulled last night is really paying off. Farina, why are you cheating? <laughs> Farina, for real cheating, bro. Why didn't you tell us this before? <laughs> Linny and Lynette are Fatui? Order! Order! Mr. Linny, allow me to reestablish the facts. Lady Farina has raised two points. First, when the thud was heard in the opera house, you were neither in the box nor the tunnel. Second, you and Ms. Lynette are both members of the House of the Hearth. How could he have neither been in the box nor the tunnel? That makes no sense at all. Because he clearly entered the box, and the only way to get out of the box is through out of the box or through the other box. But he could have always went through the basement, but at the same time, we found out that that tunnel, it's really difficult to carry two people through. So yeah, there's no doubt about a magician's ability to, uh, to con others. Given how Linny has concealed his identity, this could all have been set up beforehand. Plus, Child is here in Fontaine, along with other um, house operatives. There must be some scheme at work here. I've been a victim of such schemes before, and now... Please answer my question, Mr. Linny. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, Damn, bro. they're true, Your Honor. Wait. Well, that's it. We might as well move on to the sentencing already. Bro, no. It's like, my god, permission to speak, Your Honor. My client has withheld some key information. My defense cannot proceed. Uh, this one. Okay. What is your request? I request a brief adjournment. Uh, adjournment. Uh, there are things that must be discussed. Is that really necessary? They're already as good as guilty. The defendant deceived their own attorneys. What is there left to discuss? Order, I say. Your request is reasonable, and we shall adjourn. This trial will reconvene in one hour. Damn, bro. You would stick to Mr. Linny's defense <laughs> even after knowing what you do now. You certainly have more professionalism than I thought. In that case, no, I'm homies with a Fatui member, so why would I care? <laughs> joy of victory to steep for a little while longer. <laughs> Rina. Damn, the Hydro Archon is wild. Okay. While court is adjourned, you meet with Linny and Lynette backstage in the Opera House. Linny? Well. This is awkward. I didn't think the Hydro Archon would dig all that up. I'm sorry, Traveler and Paimon. Paimon just knew where to start. We trusted you two. We based our entire reasoning on the assumption that you weren't bad guys. Not to set the wrong tone or anything, but Paimon's really mad. I'm very <laughs> sorry. I know you're angry, and reasonably so, but please, let me explain. You've clashed with the Vatui several times before. I wouldn't be surprised if just hearing the word is enough to make you upset. How do you know that? Our organization is very, very large, and the Harbingers have very different personalities and goals. Right now, we want to save people. As many as we can. That's right. I'm sure we're on the same page when it comes to this nation and the disaster that its people might face. I know uh -huh. for our respective identities, we could become good friends. That's why I didn't wish to flat out lie to you but chose to hide some details instead. The truth is very important, but being completely transparent about everything would see us spending more effort than we need to. Right. So, you be the judge. Heck, if I were you, I fear that I'd even struggle to trust me at this point. Who works as a magician, a trickster by trade. All by coincidence, too. But still, I'm asking you to trust me. Sure. I, Please I don't forgive know. Us. I don't think I will, Lynette. Explain the other issue first. Where did you actually go while the trick was being performed? Right. Let's hear your answer first, and no lies now! Of course. I'll answer any question you ask. We've been trying to find out how the Oratrice operates. We want to know why it has consciousness. Why can it deliver sentences accurately? 
During our investigations, we learned that the machine's core is beneath it. From huh. that moment on, Lynette and I have been designing this box swap trick with the objective of getting close to the core. Is that why you needed a whole minute? That's right. In truth, the audience would take about 75 seconds to count down from 60, while I would only need 15 to get to the opposite box. So, okay. after jumping into the tunnel, I accessed the Opera House basement via the vent, and went to investigate the room in which the core is stored. That air vent was created during the construction of the tunnel specifically to execute this step. And what did you find? Well, nothing. As soon as I reached that room and was about to investigate, I heard someone's voice. Which should have been impossible, of course. I was quite certain that I was the only one in the room. That Whose voice did you hear? And tried to speak to me. I chose to err on the side of caution and retreated the way I came. On the way back, I saw the broken vase and the clothes on the ground. But the countdown was almost finished, so there wasn't time to give it any thought. After that, the homicide occurred just as you saw. Well, that explains huh. why you didn't hear the thud. The girl. It's probably the, might, might be the voice you heard, but I don't know. But why do you want to understand how the oratories work or operates? <laughs> because of that prophecy I told you about, of course. We must know all we can about this nation's secrets in order to deal with that prophesized crisis. That's the only way we can save everyone. So, okay. there you have it. The whole truth. I swear, I didn't hide anything from you this time. It was never my wish to proceed under this cloud of mistrust either. But, like I said earlier, you can be the judge. If you want to leave because you don't trust the Fatui, there's nothing I can do to stop you. Well, Traveler, you decide. Prima will follow your lead huh. however you choose. I believe in the facts. I will defend you from these charges. I believe that judgment will be dispensed as it should. Uh, this one. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for giving us... Okay. Time. Yeah. The problem is that the scales are tipped pretty badly against you two. If we want to refute the Hydro Archon's accusations, we're going to need a seriously watertight defense. Actually, we already have the key evidence we need. How do we have... Huh? What? What do you mean? Hmm. Oh, Paimon thinks she gets what you mean. Uh, Lenny's statement. Okay. The voice in the Oratory's core chamber. Okay. Um, oh shoot. I moved my mic. Got... Okay, where are we going? Continue taking part in the trial. Let's do that. A brief adjournment ends, and the nail-biting trial reconvenes, or whatever. Return to their positions. Let us continue the trial. Frickin' uh, Farina was probably out there cheating again. Off, Mr. Linney acknowledged the new evidence presented by Lady Farina as fact. Therefore, Lady Farina may continue stating her reconstruction of the events. <sighs> that took long enough. Now then, if everyone would lend me their attention at this stage, Let's revisit that scene from Linny's perspective. Um, okay. Based on the opposition's account of ev of evidence, of events, what, what am I saying? You can identify loopholes in their statements. Use evidence and clues obtained during the investigation to refute any er er erroneous uh, assertions of, of facts and replace them with new inferences. Use your refutations to convince the audience and obtain more support from the people. The Oratories will display a shift, such shifts clearly. When you find and refute all incorrect content, you can complete the cycle of re re refutation and unveil the truth. Okay, Farina versus me. Okay. As the countdown began, he Lenny entered, entered the, the tunnel. tunnel. Yeah, okay. This is just like dang on Rampa, bro. Everyone in the opera house, which is why he claimed earlier that he could not hear the sound. Finally, he used the vase to knock her out before making her change clothes to prevent others from recognizing her. This time, Cowell arrived in the tunnel, having heard that strange noise, and so oh, she proceeded to knock him out too before stuffing him into that box. Afterward. Lenny passed the unconscious Halsey to his accomplice through the magic box in the audience stands before operating the devices such that Cal's death would be ruled an accident. Okay. And there you have it. That's the truth behind what happened. 
Does the nah. side have any objections to Lady Farina's description of the events? Yes, I do. Yo, I'm speaking. He experienced and what he saw. Oh. <laughs> Yo, I have dialogue. Okay. <laughs> okay, Lenny entered the tunnel. Identified loopholes. Well, no, that one that one makes sense. Yeah, he entered the tunnel. The loud sound from Lenny and Alsi's fight. No. This one. Lenny claims that he uh headed to the chamber uh containing up. This one entrance to exit. No one left the opera house. Uh no. The voice in the Ortrace core chamber, the young lady's clothes, strange sound during the magic show. During the switching performance, there was an audible thud that many I'll, I'll pick this one. Okay, I did it. He left via the vent after entering the tunnel. He couldn't have had that altercation with Halsey. How does that sound like Makoto, bro? This for real <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Um uh, Linny knocked Halsey out using the vase and removed her clothes, preventing her from being identified. However, was Linny really in the tunnel at that time? Sh which one? Entrance and exits to the opera house. I can't use this one again. Um, maybe the clothes? No. Seems this won't produce a part. Okay. Maybe the. Let's see. The strange sounds are in the magic show. Uh, this one. Yes, okay. Linny went to the room that contains the Oratrice's core. This is the actual truth. Okay. Lenny knocked Cowell out. Cowell walked in on Lenny, and and uh, so the latter knocked him out with the vase. The existing evidence indicates that when Lenny returned to the tunnel, the crime had already taken place, and all Lenny saw was the clothes. There we go. He did not take part in the underground altercation. He only witnessed traces of the aftermath. Okay, there we go. Attention! Ace Detective Paimon has something to say! When the countdown started, Linny did indeed go into the tunnel. Mm -hmm. He immediately used a vent to access the Opera House basement, which is where the underground core of the Oratrice is stored. Once he reached that area, he heard a voice in what should have been an empty room. Something was amiss. He returned immediately. The crime yeah. scene had already developed by the time he reached the tunnel again. And in order to complete the magic trick, he did not remain there for any length of time. Finally, he reached the surface, and that was when the accident happened from his point of view. Therefore, he's innocent. Okay. Paimon's voice is really annoying, though. So, <laughs> successful refutation. Fuck yeah. Okay. Why do you still have that on, Paimon? No, Paimon. You believe that he knew nothing of the incident? That's right. Moreover, I believe my opposition's reasoning is flawed. My reasoning? The onstage equipment was clearly tampered with in um premeditation fashion. However, you see that cow bumped into Lenny by chance. Fuck. This one. If that's the case, then if Cowell hadn't entered the tunnel, who was the entire setup meant to kill? Assuming that what you say is true, Linny only needed to kidnap the young girl to cause a new disappearance case. What would the point of killing someone on stage be? Oh, yeah. I have a point. <laughs> that's right, you tell him. And that's why they're partners of mine. <laughs> Manage to turn things around. Your denial is very strident. I'll give you that. But what proof do you have to back your claims? Do you happen to remember how you refuted Lenny's alibi initially? Do you happen to remember? Of course I do. If he had been in the magic box the whole time, how could he have not heard that sound? Would you ask for saying that he wasn't? Yes. Uh, your claim has now become my weapon. Your claim has now become a crucial clue. Uh, this one. Okay, uh, what, what did it say? Oh, which of the evidence that Linny wasn't in the tunnel when the crime took place? Uh, which of the evidence that Linny... Information about the missing lady, strange sound during the magic show, entrance and exits, uh, into opera house. No one left the opera house during the magic show. I can't use any of those, so those are irrelevant. Information about the missing lady's identity. Halsey is a missing person. She's a famous painter and came to watch the magic show. Strange sound during the magic show. During the switch performance, there was an uh maybe this one. That's right. Lenny wasn't in the box or in the tunnel. That's why 
he didn't hear anything strange during the performance. This means that when the crime happened, Linny had already entered the basement via the vent. Yes. So he used to disprove his alibi has now become the best proof. How do you like that? Well played. Goddamn. Well then, if it wasn't Linny who committed the crime, then who was it? How would we know that? The murderer was a slight the gear icons in the interface to check the corresponding case questions. What? Uh, uh, select answers and fill all the empty gears to verify the correctness of your deduction. If you have made mistakes, you must make another selection from the remaining options. Once you have answered all the questions correctly, you can complete this logic chain. The guard's investigation report indicates that the fireworks released near the end of the show ignited the burned ignited and burned through the rope suspending the water tank above the stage this caused the water tank to fall and kill cowl in the box ha <sighs> oh shoot I, I accidentally exited out okay um okay give me, give me one second if Linny is no longer under suspicion only the other members of the troop would have been able to tamper with the props uh, Linny gave a detailed account of how the trick was supposed to work by using a box inside a box. The idea was for the box containing the audience members to be transported across via a tunnel underneath and and underneath and Linny himself would also be this uh, would also use this tunnel to get to the other side. Having to change her outfit, Linny and her and her assistant would take charge of onstage interactions. The clothes belonged to Halsey. The lady who went missing were found in the tunnel. The reasons for this remains unknown. Select any clue to view detailed information. Who was the only person who could possibly have committed the crime? Halsey is the missing person and an ordinary audience member. Or did she have her own scheme all along? Uh, what? Oh, Jessica? Okay. <laughs> uh, you His name is Cowell, Linny's assistant. He would have been able to tamper with the equipment. Could there have been a third person involved? Is that really a possibility? Yes. No, my, hypo my hypothesis is incorrect. Halsey I'm, I'm thinking it was Halsey, though. No, I guess it's not Halsey. Okay, the well, name is <laughs> it's the deceased man that could have in uh did things. No, it would have made sense for Halsey to be sus. You know? Sure. Just recreate the Bro, for real, we have and voice how lines. And how he went from would-be perpetrator to victim. How can we invest in, in, in investigate uh, Lenny as having been unable to interfere with the crime? No one entered or left the opera house through its entrances. Okay. The name is Cowell. Link that one. Halsey's clothing was in the tunnel. Uh. It may have come from. Linny was not in the tunnel at that one. It would have been tough for both people to fit in that one. The sound we heard may have come from a clash between the missing Halsey and the criminal. This one. No? Which one's wrong? I'm pretty Linny sure it's the, the tunnel, it's I these think. two over here. It's those it two. Okay, so Cowell and this one, no one has to be, right? No? So I guess how or no, okay, so none of those are incorrect. Halsey's clothing was in the tunnel. So huh. no one entered or left. So it matters. So I get Okay, so it's saying both of them are wrong. Halsey's clothing was in Halsey's clothing was in the What? The fuck? The sound we heard may have come. Okay, yeah, this is really confusing. Uh okay, now Halsey's clothing is incorrect. I don't get the criminal must have understood the methods behind Linny's magic trick. Leaving aside how he died, Cowell, uh, the strange noise could likely be the sound of Cowell and Halsey struggling. Lenny was not in the tunnel for one minute. Uh, this would have given time for Cowell, yeah? But according to the guard's testimony, no one entered or left the opera house. Exi exiting from the box would have been in full view of the audience, pretty much What's guaranteed. Wrong, You're still having trouble figuring out 
figuring things out? Where in the world did Halsey go? <laughs> I see how it is. So this was all just a bluff. And here I thought you had something to show for it. But it seems you're still far from the truth. Look, since we're at a dead end, why not consider a different track? Just like the trick as it transpired, the end result must have been utterly different from the magician's initial design. If only okay. Knew yeah, I don't know anything about where Halsey went. And none of them seem very likely. This is a magic trick where you can just make a real live person disappear. Like you did from that water tank, Lynette. Magic? Wait, could it have been the water? <laughs> Excuse my interruption, dear opponent. But do you not see that the crowd is growing impatient? There is no greater sin in this opera house than an awkward delay in the performance. Oh no, just two, bu two, two dots. If the defense is unable to make further effective arguments, we will move on to the next stage of the trial. Hold on a second. Winnie was not in the tunnel at that moment, which gave our criminal ample time. The sound we heard may have come from a clash between the missing Hulk. The deceased's name is Cowell, Linny's assistant. He would have been <laughs> one entered or left the opera. It What's this one? Been tough for both people to fit into that vent. No, that one's not it. Maybe it's the, the broken, broken vase. Way. Yes, okay, it was the broken vase. <laughs> Hypothesis is correct. <gasps> Lynette escaped from the water tank, vanishing gradually and leaving only clothes behind. If there's a similar method where a person could be transformed into water... <laughs> Just a moment, please. I do hope you know how preposterous you sound at the moment. Not really, because freaking, um, what's her face? Mona, you know, she, she can do that pretty, perfectly fine. She can turn into a puddle. <laughs> We might find something there. I should think that of anyone, your friend Linny already knows this truth very well. Magic tricks are ultimately just illusions and misdirection. But Halsey's disappearance is very real. We're talking about two completely different things. Even so, I trust the traveler's judgment. The truth must be out there somewhere. Perhaps a new line of reasoning may open if we try to gather all the focal points that don't make sense. Tell, tell us how you we did the, much attention on him. the water thing. But given that we aren't making much progress with the case, it wouldn't hurt to have a look at his belongings, would it? People really do come up with all sorts of harebrained schemes when at the end of their rope. The way I see it, your suggestion that we broaden the scope of our investigation is nothing but a tactic for stalling the trial. Nevertheless, I believe that this is a reasonable request on the part of an attorney. Since the trial does indeed appear to be at an impasse, I believe that additional evidence may help us make more progress. God, yes. Please step okay. into the lounge and examine the personal effects of the deceased Cowell. Okay. We are um, still examining the items, but we have already made critical progress that we feel must be shared with everyone post haste. We discovered several test tubes of fluid within Cowell's baggage, each labeled separately. Okay. The notebook in his backpack claims that these fluids are water from the primordial sea. The primordial sea. Notes contents also indicate that Cowell belonged to an organization that sells illegal drugs and that he had an accomplice. What the fuck? <laughs> has many entries concerning it, it makes perfect sense how Cowell would have killed her or made her disappear. It's like, you know, Cowell doing the water thing where, you know, how Lenny or Lynette disappeared and shit in the water. So he could have done that and then he needed a place to hide because since probably a uh, fucking Lenny was coming through the vents and Cowell just needed a place to hide. So he hid in the box, but he didn't know that it was going to fall on him. That's the thing. One of these tubes was labeled Opera Epicles, along with yesterday's date. It is empty. The notes also state that these dissolution properties work exclusively on people from Fontaine. It's likely that Halsey was chosen as some sort of test subject. Goddamn. As such, we believe that the defense's hypothesis is, in fact, supported by sufficient evidence. You gotta be kidding! People dissolving 
Dental. But something so ridiculous actually be true. Wait a moment. This reminds me of a certain prophecy, but it's just a coincidence, isn't it? Huh. If people can become water, does that mean that the water tank's real use was as a means to hide water stains? And if Powell was targeting that girl, wait just a minute, could that mean... Two, with me, quick! Demoiselle, wait! What about your partners? Let's go. Just trust me. It is undeniable that further examination of the deceased's personal effects has yielded some surprising results. But we cannot yet God verify damn. the veracity of these clues. How Still, can you not? Let us assume that these clues are indeed authentic, albeit with the understanding that Ms. Halsey has yet to be found. Guards, please continue examining the items along these lines. Mr. Yes. Penny, it appears your hypothesis is supported by the evidence, so please continue speaking. Of course. Thank you, Your Honor. If we uphold this hypothesis, I believe that many of this case's seemingly unrelated clues can be connected together. Right! Like the metal hood! That one didn't make sense at all! Let's think about this! Cowell's methods must have something to do with that... Who is the prime suspect currently? The deceased's name is Cowell. Yes. Oh, I didn't even know that it actually... You have to... Okay, I didn't know that. What? I... <coughs> Holy Jesus. What item did the culprit use to control the timing of the dissolution? What? Lynette was in the magic box on stake. I remember there was something else within um, the layer of that box. What item did the culprit use to control the timing of the dissolution? Lynette was in the um, magic box on stage the entire time. Did she have something to do with this? The water from the primordial sea should all now it seems like the hook rope was not meant for another magic trick, but was instead some form of triggering me- I don't know. I remember there was Maybe this one? What item did the corporate use to dissolve Halsey is this one? From the primordial what item did the corporate use to hide the mechanism behind the crime? Now uh, like the uh, this one? Maybe? No, okay, so those two are wrong. Okay, so I'm thinking the hook, select, like and... Let's see. Was in the magic box. And this one. Let's see. Okay, it did it! Yay! Okay. Hypothesis is correct. Ahem. It's Ace Detective Punch time to shine again! In the original plan, Cowell would tamper with the water tank rope and the number selector securing his target. When the magic box containing Halsey would lower, the metal hook would retract gradually and pierce the balloon at the top of the box. When the balloon attached to the box caught, the water from the primordial sea inside it would pour down and dissolve Halsey. Afterward, Cowl would enter the tunnel and break the flower vase to conceal the water inside the tunnel, with the remaining evidence being covered up by the water tank on stage. But he encountered something unexpected in the tunnel and wound up being fatally hit by the same water tank he meant to use to cover his tracks um okay huh. that does make sense that actually links together a lot of the more confusing pieces of evidence yo <coughs> okay oh dear what do i do even i think they sound convincing now bro Have just give up already farina Give up, no. Rina. It seems like the only point of contention remaining is the exact circumstances that led to Cal's death. His notes mentioned he had an accomplice who could be related to the situation. On that note, the guards have just contacted me indicating that they uncovered new evidence. I shall now invite him on stage to share it with us. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. We were just inspecting the luggage of the other people involved in this case. And we found an identical sample of the water from the primordial sea among Linny's personal effects. R what? What? That can't be. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, the how fuck? wonderfully comedic to have your own counterattack only to come back and wound you. <laughs> Does this not clear all doubt? Mm. My citizens, my loyal audience. Allow me to present my reasoning and bring this performance to a swift close. No. No. Linny did not need to take part in the dissolution of the young woman at all. 
Indeed, he did leave the scene via the vent. He made modifications to the props beforehand. His accomplice Cowl then caused Halsey to vanish using the water from the primordial sea. But upon his return, in cruel avarice, Linny desired sole credit and prepared to do away with his partner in crime. Why would he want sole credit? He knocked Cowl out, and the tool meant to cover the crime up also became a murder weapon. Okay. Now, as much as I regret having come to such a viciously straightforward conclusion, it does seem that the famed Fatui is quite the cold-blooded and ruthless organization. Oh, uh, what? Intergro? I can't do that right now. <laughs> right, Mr. Linny. No, that's wrong! All the evidence we collected. There's no way for us to make a rebuttal here. Is this the end of the road? Oh, fuck. Come on. More evidence come up, bro. Come up ready. We've all seen enough now. And we have ample witnesses to my flawless reasoning. I believe this is indeed the finale. Now then, my good, noble Chief Justice, should we not in your view move huh? Excuse me everyone, but I must interject. Miss, I must ask you not to shout. And to respect the ongoing legal proceedings. Come on, don't be hasty. I have a good reason for interrupting, you know. Now, would anyone here like to take a little break from all this debate and see a little magic? I'll show you an amazing trick. One that can bring a young woman who has disappeared back in the flesh right before your very eyes. Please, do the honors, Mr. Linny, if you would be so kind. What, what in the world is she saying? Yeah. No offense, miss, but miracles like that are beyond my scope as a magician. Come on now, don't be silly. Magic is all about misdirection, isn't it? It often conceals the truth while presenting a fascinating illusion. But once everyone what? believes the illusion, <coughs> can't magic reveal the truth to them once again? What are you and doing? Such a trick be the most marvelous finale to today's performance? Come on, Lenny and Lynette. Give it another go. Don't worry. Spina di Rasuva has made the necessary arrangements on your behalf. But, as the magic makers and stars of the show, I think I should leave the final performance to you. I understand. And voila! What's in the box? <gasps> Goddamn, it's Halsey! Um, uh, sorry for the interruption. Wait, isn't that Halsey? So, the whole thing about people dissolving wasn't true after all? To be clear, I'm only here because this person told me that if I testified, the merit of doing so would lessen my sentence. I was hiding outside this room listening to the proceedings because I was afraid that I would be the one put on trial. I was just feeling happy that no one had noticed me. And then before I knew it, she caught me. That'll teach you to underestimate us three. Where should I begin? I'm sorry. I fucking I knew it, dude. I I knew it, dude. I I I was saying how uh H Halsey was the freaking goddamn bro. Firstly, my name isn't Halsey. It's Lillian, and I'm originally from Mondstadt. What the fuck? You're I from Mondstadt? The show was gonna be a real thriller, but I missed the chance to buy a ticket, so I stole one. Goddamn. That's how I make a living. <laughs> Halsey out there without a ticket. She's all like, goddamn, bro. Never been caught before. I was noticed at the harbor a few days ago, and I barely got away. Lenny was the one who caught me in the act. Oh wait, it was you? No wonder you were oh, here. is that girl? You weren't Lenny even mentioned that you were pretty skilled. Well, and I thought that would have been the end of it, but then the number selector chose me. Even mentioned the Fortress of Meripede. That's a prison, isn't it? So you can imagine how shocked I was. I thought he was on to me for sure. What? So I played along with the show while looking for an opening to flee, but then I got water poured on me for no reason, and then someone jumped into the tunnel to nab me. I wasn't going to take that lying down, so I oh. even stuffed him into the box. There was nowhere to run from there, though, so I had to change my clothes and hide in a box containing performance costumes. I slipped out after the first guard arrived at the scene and continued hiding inside the opera house. Can a person even hide in there? If they're... Um, if... They're a practice hand at concealment, probably. A professional, a professional thief can make it work. I swear, I didn't know that 
the water tank would fall down. Really, I swear it. Had I known that, I wouldn't have put him in the magic box. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. Goddamn. Well, that makes everything pretty clear now, doesn't it? Yeah, now it's time to refute the Hydro Archon's previous reasoning. We need to tell the entire story from Lillian's perspective. We got this. Then he entered the tunnel after the beginning of the countdown. Yep. Cowl plant. Actually, hold up. Let me go. Identify loopholes. Okay. Um. Strange sound during the magic show. No. Okay. Here. Halsey dissolved. Identify loopholes. <coughs> Drop the rope. Random number selector. Actually, hold up. Let me click this one and then do random number selector. Refi no? Okay, never mind. Let me, uh, let me identify loopholes and then maybe get the, the the vase? No. The clothes? No. Um, I'm just gonna be clicking them all. Goddamn. Refute. No, it's none of them. Okay, so this one is correct, I guess. Between Linny and Cowl? No. This one, I will do the vase. Yes, okay. The flower vase was not broken to cover anything up, but it was smashed during the struggle between Lillian and Cowl. Yes. This one. Let me knock Cowl out. No. This one? Yes. Okay. Lillian was afraid that she would be recognized if she left, so she changed clothes and hid, fighting. This one. I don't know. I feel like one of these is that one. This one, the rope? No, not the rope. So this one's none of them. That one's none of them. This one has to be. Um, let's try the last one. Okay, so that. That wasn't from a fight. It was Lillian's attempt to break out when she was frightened. We did it. We did it. We got it. Oh no, not Ace Detective Paimon. Having been selected out of the blue, Lillian panicked. Her panic only uh -huh. intensified after she entered the tunnel and had water poured on her head. So she kicked the door open, producing the thud we all heard. Um. Okay. Hearing the commotion, Cowl leapt into the tunnel, only to discover that Lillian had not dissolved. She did not know that Lillian was not from Fontaine, but was a thief who made her way in by stealing a ticket. Goddamn. Mistakenly believing that the water from the primordial sea needed time to take effect, he tried to force Lillian back into the box. The two broke the flower vase during the struggle, but Lillian came out on top, knocking Cowl out and putting him in the box. Of escaping, she changed her clothes and hid in the costume trunk until the performance ended. Successful. Yes, we succeeded. In our in our deduction or whatever. I don't know. She would have to go Put on auto. Inspection if she tried to leave afterward. So she has been trying That was a long time. Desperately hungry by the time we were chatting over macarons, so she swiped two of them right under our noses. Talk about a sneaky thief! Ah, that's why there was two missing. Ah, so that's the whole story. Now then, Lady Farina, do you wish to speak against the defense's statements? I. Please answer the question, Lady Farina. Also, if I may add, the trial has not yet ended. As such, I request that the prosecution not leave the room before the proceedings have concluded. Farina trying to sneak away. What? Are you reading my mind now? Well, you're clearly sneaking away. What are you talking about? No. I have no further arguments. I admit defeat. But really, could you at least have left me with some dignity? <laughs> we totally annihilated Farina, bro. If there are no objections, then as the Chief Justice of Fontaine, I shall once again repeat the full sequence of events. Okay. The actual perpetrator of the serial disappearances, Cowl, selected his next victim from the audience reservation list. With some modifications to the selector, he could ensure that the pre-selected young woman would be chosen. To cover up any evidence while committing the deed, Cowl thought of allowing the water tank to fall, which would conceal the water left behind after the young woman was dissolved. He also tampered with the rope suspending the water tank, using the fireworks at the end of the performance to cause the tank to drop and hide the water marks. He poured the water from the primordial sea into a balloon during the preparation of the magic box and stuck it to the box's lid. Finally, 
He passed the prepared hook on a rope through the gap in the magic box's door when bringing the young woman to said box. When the magic trick officially began, the box containing the woman was lowered into the tunnel, tightening the hook rope and bursting the balloon containing the water. If all had gone to plan, the young woman would be dissolved at this time. However, Lillian was not from Fontaine. She was from Onset. With a loud noise. Realizing okay. that there was trouble, Cowell entered the tunnel and met Lillian. Thinking that the waters had not yet taken effect, he decided to proceed. However, his opponent was more capable than he thought, and he was overcome, knocked unconscious, and placed into the magic box, and thus became his own final victim. Lillian, according to her own statements, then changed clothes and hid until the performance ended, before hiding in other parts of the opera house. As Where was she Lillian, hiding, though? He was in the underground structures within the opera house, and was thus ignorant of these happenings. From this reconstruction of events, we can conclude that Linny, the accused, is in fact innocent. Yo, we did it! Fuck While yeah! There is much in Linny and Lillian's conduct that should still be investigated separately, this case, at least, can be handed over to the Oratrice to make the final decision. The Oratrice. The fuck? Ooh. Okay. As such, Linny and Lynette are officially declared not guilty. Yo! Great work, partners. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Let's not celebrate Next, just yet. I think we deserve an explanation, Guard Vaughn. How did you find the water from the Primordial Sea in Linny's baggage? Your discovery caused me to make a serious mistake, you- Or was that not a discovery, but false evidence that you dare to bring before this court? I suspect that the accomplice mentioned in Cowell's notes was not Linny, but you, yes? Oh, no. I- I'm sure you know what you must do to lessen your sentence. Speak quickly! Unless you want to earn yourself a one-way ticket to Coupon Town. Coupon Town. I was just following orders. We were supposed to place blame for the serial disappearances onto Linny, and thus cause suspicion to fall on the Fatui. The higher up said this was the best opportunity to do so. And now that your plan has fallen okay. through, and the secrets of the water have been revealed, you have become a liability to said higher ups. Yes. Therefore, you would be wise to tell everything you know and seek the protection of the guards. Yes, I'll tell you everything I know. Our boss discovered that the water can cause people to dissolve. Okay. It can also be made into a potion, which, when extremely diluted, can cause people to experience unforgettable exhilaration. We've been in this business for a while now, and have made decent mora off it. The disappearances were also the boss's idea. This is the boss we're talking about. The what the fuck? He turned into water. And now he can no longer talk. What the fuck? I shouldn't have expected any less of them. An outrageous act. All present, please submit to inspection immediately. Bro. However, nothing is found on the scene apart from the liquid left behind. God damn. So, we're just going back now? The problem seems to have been solved. That's true, but... Trouble. Oh, shut Paimon. up, Paimon. Please wait. What? Winnie. I know you may not want to speak to me right now. Maybe you don't even want to look at me. But still, let me thank you again for defending me to the end. Even after you learned that I'm a member of the Fatui. I just didn't want to see anyone be falsely accused. I just wanted to be sure that we're square. This one. I guess. But regardless, I'd like the opportunity to set things straight. I didn't approach you with any ulterior motives or ill intent. I've spoken to you as myself, just plain Linny this entire time. As for why I'm a Fatus, it's because the goals of the House of the Hearth align with those of an orphan like me. That's all. That was how Father, who you might know as the Knave, approached recruiting us back to the The one who controls the House of the Hearth? She's your father? What do you mean, she, she's your father? That's right. And since we're here... The fuck? I was wondering, would you mind hearing a story? It's about my past. Back when our parents first died, Lynette and okay. I were left wandering the streets. To survive, I took to surreptitiously observing an older street performer who did magic. It took me several days to figure out how he pulled off his amazing tricks. 
I took my sister through several streets until we found a crowded corner, and we began to perform magic tricks there. To my surprise, we proved to be pretty popular, and we could at least stop worrying about where our next meal would come from for a time. But I didn't want my sister to remain a street rat together with me forever. Before long, an aristocrat came to me and claimed that he wished to take us in after watching my performances. So you went from orphans to nobility just like that? The other guy is probably not is not fully related to them, right? I forgot his name. I gradually discovered that while we were It's their other sibling. He was really after my talent for magic tricks. Goddamn. He would constantly take me to all sorts of banquets to garner attention, which he would then use to expand his social circles. Okay. That doesn't seem too bad either. Better than roaming the streets at any rate. It took a while for me to realize just how dark his heart really was. After one particular performance at a banquet, I discovered that Lynette was not on the same return vehicle as me. I waited Why? a long time after we returned home, but she did not come back. I went to that noble's bedroom and asked him about her whereabouts. The answer he gave me was, she caught the eye of the most eminent person at the banquet, so I sent her over as a gift. You'll be able to perform your magic regardless of who your assistant is, yes? Oh no. So he was... Uh, but wouldn't Fontaine's laws deal with such people? Oh freaking outsiders are human trafficking? Yeah. This is a relationship akin to adoption or foster care. And they have their ways of escaping the eye of the law. Villains! I managed to ferret out the location of the mansion of that so-called eminent person and hurried through the night. But by the time I leaped over the walls, avoided the guards, and made my way in, all I saw was the moonlit ground covered in blood and the knave standing there in the darkness. So, she'd already taken care of that guy. That's right. She had rescued my sister before she could come to any harm and had even discovered several girls hidden in a basement. All of them orphans. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, dude. Father, I mean, the knave, might have seen something in me, and so she made me an offer. The house Why call her father? You, Why? Your interests <laughs> align with ours. Here, none will ever betray you. Indeed, betrayal shall never be permitted here. I was hesitant to trust her. I had just been betrayed by nobles. But she was also quick to destroy the noble who had taken us in at first, giving us back our freedom. So that's how the two of you joined the House of the Hearth. That's all in the past, though. The knave is after the Gnosis, isn't she? She has her own plans. She has okay. gained permission from the Sarita to first use the Gnosis' power when she obtains it. She plans to use it to find a way to break the prophecy and save Fontaine. So, she believes in that prophecy, too? That's right. The whole House of the Hearth is currently working to combat that crisis. Today's case has also proven that people from Fontaine can indeed dissolve into some sort of water, thus further supporting the prophecy. All of us house members here, Lady Arlecchino herself included, are from Fontaine. We won't give up on defending our homeland. Arlecchino. As orphans, the only connection we have left to this world, apart from our family, is our homeland. So, from small deeds like distributing magic pockets, to huge schemes like stealing a gnosis, everything is aimed at dealing with that prophecy. I'm sorry, but I can't- I can't still complete- I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh shit, I didn't mean to click that one! Yeah, whatever. The only thing I can do is relate all this to you. I just hope you can understand that even as a member of the house, I have never stopped making my own decisions, and that I believe what I'm doing is right. If you should need okay. anything at all in the future, feel free to find me. I will okay. do my best to help you, as plain Linny. I understand. Goddamn! Leave the opera house. Let's go do that. The exit's right there. You gotta move like this. There you go. Okay. Hey there. It's Navia. Was with the disappearing act you pulled right as the trial ended. Were you looking for us, Navia? Well, this whole thing isn't exactly over, is it? I do feel that we're getting closer to solving the serial disappearances case, though. Don't you think so too? Well, I. I'm sorry, Navia. Huh? What's wrong, my dear partner? I was really only trying to defend Lily. I wasn't necessarily looking for serial disappearance cases. Besides, are you sure we're the ones who can crack 
the case that's been cold for decades now? And given that there's new evidence from the trial, there should be a trail of breadcrumbs for the Hydro Archon's people to follow now, right? I see. Well, I won't lie. I'm a little shocked to hear that from you. But I suppose you are just travelers who have only arrived in Fontaine, after all. Sorry. I might have been too presumptuous. Don't say that, Navia. And we were having so much fun investigating with you, too. It was like having new waters flowing into a stagnant mire, causing new hope to spring forth and the reflection in the murk to become clearer. Sorry about that. I'm a bit prone to nostalgia. Don't worry. Okay. Wait, shall we have a farewell meal? You know, to commemorate our time as partners? Huh? Do we really need to get that formal? Well, guess you really did treat us as partners, huh? <laughs> well, I'd just like to have a proper ending to every important memory. That way there are no regrets later. Yes. Anyway, it would just be a meal, so it shouldn't take up too much of your time. Well, if you say so. You don't have to twist my arm's arm. If Boss Navia's treating, can't play mine in. Oh, wonderful. In that case, why don't we return to the Court of Fontaine and head to the Hotel de Boer? I believe we'll- Alright then, let's have our farewell meal! Yes, let's have our farewell meal. Yo, we completed Act 1! Fuck yeah. But guys, I'm going to be ending today's video here. Yes. That was, uh... Oh, that was a really uh, crazy trial, you know? We were defending Linny. Yeah. So, I don't have enough for that. Okay, let me head over to my... Which is here. I have 19 right now. I'm almost to 20. So I can have enough to pull on Farina. Or uh, 20 pulls. <laughs> I'm going to keep on like saving uh, Primos. So I can... Um, no? So I can get Farina. But either way guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video of Genshin Impact. And, uh, comment down below. Something. And uh, leave a like. Subscribe so if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. And bye bye.